In the last century, technology has brought us so many dazzling advances. We've mapped the human genome and built a 3D printer. But when it comes to the automobile, the pace of innovation seems to be a whole lot slower. Many say electric cars are the future and that pretty soon we'll all be plugging in instead of gassing up. But is that truly feasible? Let's find out. Welcome to Takei's Take. After 100 years of producing fuel-dependent cars, we are finally jolting into the next era. The Tesla Model S is arguably the most desirable and trendy electric car on the market. In the tiny suburb of Atherton, California, one out of seven new cars is a Tesla. And while we're talking about the future of cars, a self-driving car, a truly Marty McFly worthy development. Google has developed a software called Google Chauffeur, which allows cars to drive themselves. Google driverless cars employed lasers to constantly generate 3D maps of their surroundings, then make directional decisions by cross-referencing databases of world maps. Are we really ready for driverless cars? Google has done over 300,000 miles of road tests with the vehicle, and in that time, there have only been two road incidents, neither of which were the fault of the driverless car. Let's see what our guest thinks. Welcome Chris Woodyard, car reporter from USA Today. Welcome Chris. Thank you, George. So, what do you think of the driverless car? Would you drive one? I'd be thrilled to death to drive in a driverless car. It'd probably be within 10 years that you'd be able to zip around with the car doing most of the driving. Where does our public transportation infrastructure fit into all this? The industry right now has a little bit of a chicken and egg problem. Until there's more electric cars, no one's going to want to put any more public charging stations. So everyone's trying to see who blinks first. The uh, inhibitor is the cost. Do you think you'll be able to bring that cost down? There's kind of an electric car for every pocketbook these days. There are a ton of other electric car choices on the market right now, many of them discounted heavily on the lease side of things because automakers are under a lot of pressure to, to get those out on the road. Well, it's an exciting future there, and you're a wonderful salesman for it. Well, we'll see if America's ready to catch on. I mean, there are a lot of great choices these days when it comes to alternative fuels for cars. Electricity is one good choice. It's a matter of finding the right ones for the right folks. So what's my take on this? Over the years, I've seen a lot of change in the auto industry. When I was young, we didn't even have seat belts. But the two most eye-opening experiences for me are also the most recent. First, I visited China last year and was truly alarmed by the air pollution I saw there. We need to promote cleaner energy options. And next, I got a ride in a Tesla. I was impressed by the ride and even more so by Elon Musk's dedication to making electric powered vehicles a reality. Change is not only possible, it is inevitable. Well, that's our show. Let me know what you think the future of automobiles will look like in the comments below. And please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Do I will track my activity and sometimes my lack of activity, but right now I'm actually wearing three different things. This is the Jawbone Up. Oh my. You and I have the same goal, to knock over Bill Shatner. George, you should have a huge advantage here. You were like the navigator on the Enterprise. Uh, I mean, I, no, 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 I that was That should give you, uh, maybe I'll knock out you. There. Oh, there it is. I was right behind well, you. Well, we, we had a common goal. Yes, we did. <laughs>